My name is Andrei Urzica. I'm from Romania. I work in IT, but obviously life is much more than that. I saw the documentary mid last year, sometime mid last year, and from the very beginning it made complete sense. And right after I saw it, I said, I have to try this out. Okay, I changed the chemistry. You gotta wake up yourself. Towards the end of the year, I had a kind of a nervous breakdown where I was actually quite stressed with my job and my girlfriend. I just said, we got to part ways. It's done. And that's the same moment when I got inspired to, to come visit, uh, to, to see this and experience this firsthand with Wim. Yeah? And it was amazing. Oh, well, yeah. I was mind blown, mind blown by, the, by Wim's teachings, but the, the teachings from other guys and other people, it was amazing. This, this plethora, this collection of people from all over the world. It's like from Venezuela, from Mexico, from New York, from Texas. What else? Danish, Dutch, Japan. All of them, it's amazing. And all, all had something to share. That was brilliant. The memory that sticks out the most, or the feeling that sticks out the most, is the, the energy that you feel from everybody else. You know, we were talking about uh, the pool, the ice bath, that we could from time to time touch each other's ankles or, or feet and so on, and we could feel the other person's energy. So this, this energy flow kept it going. And again, I'm pretty sure it was one of the most important contributing factors to the whole experience. What I would really like to do on the long run is, is have pretty much the same energy vibe and feeling in small groups in, in my country as well and just have this power to become vulnerable again. Because everyone is very tensed in their daily life, they don't know who to trust, where they belong and so on. So this was again one of the best setups to break that shell and just open up and be human again with your human fellows, regardless, they're not your direct kin, but they are in the end. Yeah? So um, this would be my, my vision for the future. And I would definitely love to see everyone that went this time here, would love to see them at least once again in Romania. So we would do the same things. Yeah, definitely. And spread the love, spread the love. This is the biggest power that can overcome fear. You can train so much, you can do so many things, but if you don't have this love feeling that you belong, that you're, you're special to someone, you know, you have a greater purpose, not just for yourself, but along with the, the other person, and you can feel you're building, you're really building things, uh, that's, that crushes anything, anything in the way. There's, that, that, that's why it says there's no mountain high enough. There is no mountain high enough if you have love, yeah.